Hey everyone, Stephen Powell here. I want to bring some insights to you, some fresh insights that I've had from uh, studying the scripture and just meditating on some of these things concerning Mystery Babylon. Okay, so one of the things that you'll notice, okay, is that in the, the end of the Bible, in the book of Revelation, you have Babylon being given a new name. It's called Mystery Babylon. And this is actually the name given to the whore that's riding on the back of the beast in, Re in Revelation 13, right? Um, but Babylon, okay, is first mentioned in the book of Genesis, okay, the book of beginnings. So there's a scripture, I believe it's in Isaiah, it says um, God declares the end from the beginning, right? So when you get to the end, okay, Babylon is a mystery. It's called ba Mystery Babylon. But you can understand more about the mystery if you go back to... The beginning. So, what do you have in the beginning? You have in the book of Genesis, Nimrod comes forth, and he builds the city of Babylon, right? And um, you know, after he builds the city, there's a tower that begins to be constructed, and it's very, very interesting. They come together. They're all working towards the same end. They're all declaring the same thing. They all have the same language, and God says that you know that they will accomplish anything they set their minds to. Okay, anything that they say, right? So um, that's at the Tower of Babel. So the Lord has to come down. You guys know the story, I'm assuming. And he confuses their language and he scatters them, okay, you know, across the face of the earth with uh, as different tribes with different languages, right? But the Lord's scattering, okay, um, is what really created different tribes with different languages, which diff eventually... Um, led to different nations, different nation states. So the Lord is actually the author of that. I call that necessary nationalism. Okay, nationalism is the recognition of a sovereign individual identity of a tribe and a nation, right? And of course, many of the nations today are composed of many different tribes, but you have national identity. It's what I call necessary nationalism. Why is it necessary nationalism? Because it's one of the strategies that God put in place to keep the world away from the Antichrist spirit, okay, taking over the nations and consolidating, you know, all of that power towards his end. You know, the Lord has purposed, okay, for there to be the harvest, okay, harvest of souls across many gen generations, across many different time periods, and he's been holding back that Antichrist spirit. But we know from the book of Revelation that it will come to full maturity, and it will reach and actually exercise authority and power over the entire earth, over every nation, tribe, and tongue. Okay, that's what it says in Revelation 13, 7. Power will be given to this whore and to this beast to exercise authority over every nation, tribe, and tongue, right? But here's what I want to point out, okay? You have Babylon that's growing all around us. It's growing right outside our door. It's growing in every nation. It's growing all throughout the church as well because it's not just a beast type system, which is the governmental aspect of it, right? But it's also the whore, which is the false religious system. There's a spiritual element to it as well. So there'll be the joining together of world religions and there'll be the joining together of governments as well to create this Antichrist kingdom. That's what Satan's pushing towards, right? Um, but you have Bab uh, Mystery Babylon at work, okay, to create once again, you know, the same thought, okay, the same thinking and the same speech. That spirit, okay, the Antichrist spirit wants everybody thinking the same and wants everybody saying the same. So when you get on Facebook and when you get on Google, okay, and when you get on, you know, all these various social media platforms right now, <clears throat> you'll all have them saying the same thing you know, about Black Lives Matter and about all these liberal talking points, right? And that's Mystery Babylon at work. It's trying to create an environment in which everybody, enough people are saying the same thing and thinking the same thing. And you look at, you know, the mainstream media for the most part. You look at Hollywood. You look at the TV shows. You look at the movies that are coming out. You look at Netflix. And there's, there's uh, similarities, uh, things being thought, things being spoken. Across all these platforms, that's the unification of language and mind and thoughts so that they can move together and do things together, right? And the Lord said, remember this, when speaking about the Tower of Babel, the Lord said they will accomplish anything they set their minds to, right? So, this spirit can accomplish anything at once, 
as long as it can get enough people thinking and saying the same thing. So let me give you an example. The spirit wants a complete breakdown of morality, wants a complete breakdown of the family unit, okay? It wants a complete breakdown of what it means to be a moral or a, a, a moral man or a woman when it comes to sexuality, when it comes to sexual relations, when it comes to interactions between people, right? So you've had, you know, this thinking and these ideas and a, a new morality that Satan wants to thrust on the whole world that's been going out for decades now through Hollywood and through movies and through television th shows and through the media, okay, and even through social media, things like this. And now they've managed to bring enough people, okay, one second, <laughs> something's going off here. Hey, sorry about that. I'm here at home alone. I'm, I'm actually uh, filming from my home. I wasn't able to film in my studio or in my office right now because they're doing construction right out the window. So praise God for that. So anyways, I had one of my kid's devices going off. I had to go, you know, turn it off so it's not distracting. But anyways, getting back to this. Um, so you have Mystery Babylon at work. You've had enough seeds that have been sown over time Concerning the, concerning the homosexual, uh, homosexual agenda, concerning the breakdown of the family, the breakdown of masculinity, um, things like this, right? But now you have laws literally being passed in California, okay, that no longer protect children, okay, from pedophiles. Okay, you have laws being passed where it's illegal to convert someone, you know, from being homosexual and say, hey, you know, you're not a homosexual. This isn't who God created you to be. You have laws being passed making it illegal for Christians to do that, right? And how is that possible? That's mystery Babylon at work, okay? You get enough people thinking and saying the same thing, you can accomplish anything, right? So Satan is going to build this construct. He's going to bring forth the new morality, okay? And it's not going to be based on the Word of God like we've seen morality, at least, you know, in places like America for hundreds of years now. The new morality is going to be antagonistic against the Word of God, okay? And it comes with its own teaching and its own doctrines of demons and its own false prophets and false teachers and messengers, and it comes with its own false gospel. And the social justice movement is absolutely a part of that. It's a part of that indoctrinization by Mystery Babylon. It's a part of the breakdown of the family. I mean, you can go on Black Lives Matter, Black, Black Lives Matter's homepage and see what they're all about. They're all about destroying the nuclear family. They're all about raising up the gays and the homosexuals and the transgenders and, quote, creating a safe space, you know, for them. But, you know, what they're really talking about is creating a place where eventually it's illegal to speak against them. It's illegal. They're going to call it hate speech, right? Um, but, you know, Satan is a counterfeiter. He's not very original in his ideas and thoughts, so he's always trying to mimic God and his kingdom. So the church of Jesus Christ is supposed to be the church of one book, right? We're supposed to be basing our beliefs off the Bible, and in the Bible contains the thoughts and the thinking and the morality and the standards of God, and we're supposed to, as the church of Jesus Christ, all be reading the same book and thinking those same thoughts and having those ideas. And of course, there's freedom, you know, to interpret and to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling daily, even in your reading of the scripture. Um, but that's the idea there as well, because when we come together as the body of Christ, we're thinking like God thinks, and we're doing as God does, and we're speaking, we're putting God's word in our mouths, and we're saying what God says, then we, in turn, can accomplish anything. We can accomplish anything as well. So, Eventually, the church is going to win out. Eventually, the kingdom of God is going to win out, and the word of God is going to be fulfilled, right? But there's this struggle right now. There's this struggle taking place right now. Um, 
So, those are some words on mystery Babylon, okay? Part of the mystery decoded and demystified, okay, is the nature of unity, the nature of uh, having a spirit that's trying to get everybody to think the same thing and say the same thing. So, be aware of this, resist this. If you see something that pops up on your Facebook and then on your Instagram and then on your Google and they're trying to herd you towards this system of thinking, saying the same things, then resist that. Just know that um, the Word of God is the highest truth, okay? The Word of God is the greatest revelation, okay? The Word of God reveals Jesus, amen? And that's what we need right now. We don't need more of the Marxist liberal universities, you know, teachings like critical race theory and things like that. We need more of the Word of God. We need more of the unveiling and the revelation of Jesus Christ because that's really in the end what's going to overcome mystery Babylon her religion her new morality the strength and power that she exerts by joining together with world religions um, it's all going to be defeated by the coming kingdom of Messiah and we're a part of that kingdom right now amen we're a part of that revolution in the earth it's called the Church of Jesus Christ the Ecclesia um, the going forth the coming of his kingdom Amen. So I pray this has been a blessing to you. I pray this has been enlightening to you, um, edifying to you. God bless you. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive more videos as they come available. God bless you. Hey, my name is Stephen Powell, and I want to thank you for watching this video on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and click the button right here, and you can subscribe to our channel so you get new videos as they come available. And also, you can go ahead and watch another video right now if you click this button over here. God bless you.